Hey guys, what's up? Um, reviewing today, well, yeah, yeah, you could call it kind of a review. I'm showing you guys a game, uh, called Okamiden. Uh, it's a sequel to Okami on the PS2. I'll make a video for that another time, but, um, I'm gonna show you guys Okamiden and basically, um, oh yeah, I guess from Shaku. We, there's only, uh, that's only there because I beat the game. So, yeah, there's uh, different music for the stages. For those of you that played Okami, this music should be very, um, should be very familiar. Especially that music, Shinshu Field. It's like the main field in the first one and this one. In case I hadn't already said it, this one, the Okami Den is a sequel to Okami. So you actually play um, as Chibi Teresu, which is that little wolf right there. Um, which is basically. Um, one second. Oh yeah, that's the different teams. Uh, but Chibi Teresu is basically, oh yeah, and the scrolls, basically, yeah. the scrolls, I guess, kind of just show you a little bit of history. But basically, you play as Chibi Teresu. As he tries to get rid of the uh, the demons um, that still plague, you know, the countryside. Yeah, and they always they always talk like this. Uh, like all the NPCs in the game always kind of talk in an odd way, like that. Storytelling is very good though, um, graphics are pretty good, we basically kind of just give an overview of what, um, what happened in the first one, for the most part. He was basically describing the um, the evil entity that uh, Amaterasu, Chibi Teresu's mother, basically beat in combat, known as Orochi. So the graphics, were, you know, were pretty good for the time, you know, especially for DS. I mean, obviously it could have been a little better, but pretty good for the most part. So basically, as you can see, you know, everything's just getting swallowed up by the darkness. I want to show you guys gameplay, though. Yes, come on, you know. No, it's all-encompassing. This stuff's just going down. Yeah, as soon as like this like little yeah, I mean he's not a bug. I mean they make it seem like he's a bug until you realize that he's actually just a really small person. Um and he's uh he's uh one of those guys that like uh, makes masterpiece like he's a masterpiece, you know, drawer like that, so
then I'm gonna show you some combat. So, so now I'm gonna show you basically what it's like to fight in the game. Solar units is your health, by the way. Oh yeah, you get a ranking for each fight, so... So the... The pink tree is the best ranking you could get, and the worst you could get, I think, is like a little... Like, little seeds. So basically it goes from little seeds, to like, sprout, to like, a partly grown tree, to like, green tree, to... To the pink trees. So. so basically, you go around the countryside. Um, you go around the countryside helping people out. Um, you know, dispelling you know this evil and stuff like that. So now he's going to teach me how to use my Celestial Brush. So you're going to click L. And you're just going to go like that. So now, see I just, I just made, made a sun to dispel the darkness. So you, you get powers like that in the game where, you know, you can make a sun. Where you could c control electricity, control fire, control wind, um, and you know, at will, to be honest, you can make cherry bombs, you know, to blow up stuff like that, you know, that'll lead you to, um, to, uh, secret areas, um, there's, uh, even a magnetism one that, you know, obviously, it sounds exactly like what it sounds like. You know, where you can make two things come together or split apart. Um, there, there's a couple different powers. There's more powers in the first one than in the second one. And for the most part, the powers are still the same. And uh, mind you, the only reason my uh, my health and ink pots are that large is just because this is basically New Game Plus. So, so um, that's why my stuff's like that. Also, um... Uh, like he was just describing there, you could only do it for so long. And then you get the different scrolls. You know, that, that uh, you know, talk to you about it and teach you how to use it. And then you have that little marker that shows you where to go. You could always use your paintbrush. You just click the menu here. You see the, the tools you can use for battle to heal yourself, like holy bones or ink pots to replenish your your uh, you know your ink pots. <laughs> um, then you have your divine instrument. Um, then you have the trinkets like I got in the game. The peace bell keeps demons scrolls away. Um, Bucky Catclaw, Catclaw, the item helps you find more money, Moon Tribe Spell, Transforms Chibi's Appearance, uh, Black Sun Spell, Magic Transforms Chibi's Appearance, and res Restoration Spell, Magic for Restoring Chibi's Appearance. And so, and you can get Demon Bones, uh, Demon Skins, and Demon Livers by cutting up the demons, because you could also cut stuff in this game so you could cut them in half or you know by uh drawing a circle around them when prompted to like you're fighting this like one like clam guy it'll prompt you to do a circle and if you do it 
you may get, you know, a demon bone or demon skin, demon liver, and that shit will be used to make, you know, stronger weapons for him. So, stronger weapons being, you know, a stronger version of this. Like, he also gets swords, he gets beads, uh, like divine beads that kind of work like a whip. And, um, divine retribution, those work more like, like short distance, um, kind of weapons. I mean, it does, you know, flip around and stuff, but it is kind of short distance. And then sword, you know, works like a sword. You can, you know, power charge it to do more damage and stuff like that. And you also have a map. Um, you have all your scrolls there. So, those scrolls. The manifest or quests you could do um, to where you'll get, you know, points. Um, basically, kind of like karma points that you could spend on... You know, getting a bigger pouch, you know, to hold more, more items, or, um, you know, you get enough points, and you could spend it in, you know, another solar unit, or get enough points to spend in another ink pot, you know, there's a lot of, you know, upgrading features in here, some, here's what some of the, uh, the creatures look like, and they give you a little description of them, um, also show you what some of the bosses look like in the game. Obviously, there's some that I, I didn't find, but for the most part, I found most of them. So, they, they all vary, and, you know, there's different ways to fight them and kill them. You know, it, it really forces you to, like, expand and use all the powers in the game to uh, beat certain bosses. Like, he's a boss. I think he was a boss. So the bosses, the bosses are pretty cool in this one. I mean, like Witch Queen was pretty cool. Armored uh, Dokuro was cool. Master Onra, Bullhead, Daidara Butchi, Renji, Renjishi, Sen, Ryo, Green Amp, King Fury. Rochi, just you know, a couple, a couple different bosses like that. So, uh, oh yeah, and uh, Akuro is like the main villain. Also, the other thing that happens in this game is you'll get, um, you'll get uh, a bunch of different partners that you meet from different parts in the world, um, and they, they, um. They all do kind of different things, like, you know, one of them is like a heavy set guy, so he's, you know, and he has, like, fire on his head, so he's, he's really good with, you know, protecting you, you know, against, you know, bad terrain, and, you know, you could use a fire on his head, um, as actual fire to attack people. Um, another person is, you know, wields a sword, and, you know, he's very good with hand-to-hand -hand combat and stuff like that. Also, you'll notice this game uh, does a pretty good job with cameos to uh, um, people that played the first one. Um, you won't be completely lost if you didn't play the first one, but you'll miss out on a couple, you know, key, you know, things that happened in the first one. And you'll notice a lot of the people in this one, the reason this adventure feels a little more scaled down is because it's more, you know, kids. These are the kids, you know, going on the missions and doing the stuff that the adults did in the first one. So a lot of these, you know, characters in the game are more, you know, more times than not, you know, just kids. Um, and, you know, there's my, uh, there's my, uh, money there. You know, I could pull that so I could, I know where I am. Um, there's, you know, my points there. And, um... The only other thing that you get to do in a game that's kind of cool is, uh, since you do have a companion, you can, you know, take them off you and, you know, have them go retrieve an item that maybe you can't reach because, you know, you're too big or too heavy, um, or, you know, maybe they could, uh, go, go click, you know, click a button that you can't reach because maybe, you know, you don't levitate but your partner levitates, you know, stuff like that. So... For the most part, that's, you know, pretty much, 
that's pretty much Okami then. Um, it, it was a really good game, very fun. Um, the only thing that kind of held the game back for me is the combat was alright. It was, it was better in the first one, it was more engaging in the first one. And this one, like, it, it gets, gets fun towards the end. Um, but all in all, you know, the combat was alright, but the story's uh, still pretty good, and, you know, they still have, you know, those, those sad moments that happen, you know, throughout the course of the game, because this game is very big on history. So, you know, history repeating itself, or history changing, you know, stuff like that. So, I just wanted to give you guys a brief overview, oh yeah, when you run, there's flowers. Uh, I wanted to give you guys a brief overview of, you know, Kamiden, uh, since I am selling it on Macari. I already sold it, I have to ship it out, but then you can obviously talk to people, you know, see, see what's up with them, and obviously anytime you do something good for them, um, you know, they, they can't, um, not can't, anytime you do something good for them, you receive, like, praise. And like she's talking right there, she can't tell that he has the markings because she's not a holy figure like some of the people you meet in this. So she doesn't, um, she, so she doesn't see it. Also in this game, you'll, you know, run across, you know, towns like this or big cities that, you know, uh, have shops or you could buy, you know, some, you know, different ink pots, you know, some holy bones help you out, you could buy... There's a specific merchant you have to go to for, you know, buying weapons and stuff. You could open chests like that. And they'll have stuff in it. They're all across the world. You know, the, this game, just like the first, you know, encourages exploration. You could examine stuff, and this soon will probably tell you what it is. Um, you know, those blue circles right there let you know you're going to a different zone. You know, just just a bunch of little stuff like that. But, thank you for watching the video, and peace out.